all right hi everyone welcome to the video in the last video i taught you how to convert that code into a object oriented code in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to load any image data set for a convolution neural network so in this video i'm i actually made a library to do the job so whenever you want to load any images so let me just pull up my images i have about 40000 images and i need to load them so how am i supposed to do that how should i uh, load any image for a convolution neural network so in this video uh, I'm gonna show you a, sm a smart library that I have just uh, made for you guys so here you can see I have about 40,000 images of cats nearly 40,000 so here you can see which is a long list and out of it some images are corrupted some does not work some and each image has a different size so how do I load this in a neural network it's so complicated I have to do so much analysis I have to process the data then I need to convert the convert my image into a grayscale then I need to resize it then I need to check if the image is a cat image or not so why to do that so I did all the hard work for you this is the class that I developed or a library so with simple two lines of code you can use it so here let's see how to do that so just give the path of your folder uh, so in this case you can see I have cats and dog it will automatically recognize what what are the categories inside let for example it's cats and dog it will automatically recognize that then it will automatically resize the image if you, you uh, so you can say image size equal to 80 even if you don't specify this argument by default it will be a 50 by 50 so I have taken care of that as well so just supply the path and you will get the x data y data so and also one more thing that I have taken care of here is basically whenever you want to load images so whenever you run your program again so it is going to read all the 40,000 images and you have to wait why do that so even I, I took care of pickling so once you load the image like once you run this program it will there will be a pickle object so right from the pickle object you can load the data and so you don't need to go through all the 40,000 images basically so this will save a lot of time and um, will help everyone to make a lot of projects with this so it this this library will make uh, people's life easy so here you can see everything is coded by me so if you like this uh, le le let us see a demo of it how it works so if I run so first of all I have a pickle object so let me just delete that and show you and in the next uh, video we will actually build a cat dog uh, classifier we will build a, a classifier for x-ray images and stuff like that so simply supply the path and uh, just run this so here you can see it will do the entire job for you it will go to the library and so here you can see library loaded successfully could not found the pickle file as you see it's not there so it's loading now all the 40,000 images so here you can see found categories cats and dogs so I'm using OS model to do that so here it detect detected there's a two folders known as cats and dog so it's gonna load first all the cat images then gonna, all, gonna load all the dog images that's gonna shuffle it um, and do all that processing for you and just give you the x, x data and y data so here you see now it also created a pickle file on my computer so if i run it again it will be real quick it won't go through all the 40,000 images so here you can see if i run it one more time here you can see the library is loaded and reading data set so it was quick right this will make people life very easy i mean it this library is very very powerful you can load in any image data set faces x-ray images you can use it for object recognition object detection everything so for every single application you need to load images you need to train images you need to process images so with this library you can do that so thank you for watching this is tutorial number eight in the tutorial number nine i would be using this library and actually building a cat dog classifier thank you for watching see you guys in the next video thank you so much and by the way, the links to this library is also there on my GitHub account and my blog. Please leave your comments um, there. Give me a like so I know that you are using my libraries and it, it makes me feel better and good, of course, because uh, I am contributing to the society. That's what it is all about. So thank you for your uh, thank you for your watching this video. If you have any questions, please let please put your questions in the comment and as and when i get time i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you so much and see you guys in the next video that is tutorial number nine of building cat dog classifier